Hello and welcome to Let's Talk, a show about talking about games and everything surrounding it. Today on Let's Talk, we have a review of Forza Horizon 3. So without further ado, let's talk. Forza Horizon 3 probably has the best setting so far in the Forza Horizon series. Uh, so it's set in Australia, and it's it's basically just because it has the widest variety. It's not, you know, American mountain desert kind of mixed, uh, which is the entirety of Forza Horizon 1, and it's not just Mediterranean scenery. It, it, it's, it's three very separate very distinct types of area so that you've got the desert which is the outback obviously because we're in Australia which basically driving everywhere is fun you know you just you just go off the beaten track and drive and it's just always fun you always have little jumps and it's very open and when I say little jumps I mean because you have so much speed you just kind of fly for a little while so that that's it's super super fun just to travel anywhere you know along the roads you can go too fast and skid off the road, but it doesn't really matter because it's quite flat and there's one or two trees, so you might crash. But it it's you can be a bit more crazy, uh, so that it's it's definitely like its own thing. And then you've got the the forest area, which feels a lot more dense and claustrophobic. Uh, it's it's kind of swampy as well, and um, I'm a particular fan of it because the off road sections feel a lot like a continuous rally stage. That they're a lot like a, a hill climb or um, that that sort of stuff. You know, it's rally stage, hill climb, whatever. The, those those sort of things, and it just feels great to drive through. And you've got this like lush forest. It feels really claustrophobic comparatively to the desert. Then you have the city area, which is you know kind of just a gridded ninety degree bends city um so you have to be much more accurate with your braking so it makes it much more technical but it's still fun and the the the, the city is still beautiful in its own right but it, it's it's a lot more technical and, and demanding on accuracy of of you know where your car is so that's that's pretty awesome you know the, the biggest the biggest change the biggest twist on the for, for the formula added into three is that you're now the boss so you're not just dumped into an area which is which already has a packed show um you you actually need to attract the crowd to, to the event and so you grow it over time so each of these three areas has it is their own festival location and you know you 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 upgrade it over time and it grows it just gets bigger that that site gets bigger uh it g- gives you it basically just gives you more more showcase events more races more and anything like the, the scouts as, as they're called kind of go out and find new things to do so there's also like skill skill traps i guess it's like you know speed camera stuff drift areas uh average speed cameras that sort of stuff like um three starring that gets you more crowd than one starring it and you know that that feels good um when you absolutely nail the drift section i'm not very good at drifting i'm not very good at going sideways but other people might not be good at going forward you know i, I don't know but when you nail it it, it feels good that this sp- i will say about the speed cameras themselves is basically if you fully upgrade a car to s class or whatever then you basically nail them all it doesn't matter and yeah, the, it feels a bit cheap sometimes. So, you know, getting the three star on it in a slower car because you, you've you managed to take the corners right beforehand and that feels awesome. So that's great. I really enjoy that. Uh, so I mentioned the showcase events earlier and I, I wanted to highlight these specifically because the rest is all just kind of the same. Uh, it's just different ways of racing. It You know, A to B or circuit or whatever... Um, or mixed dirt and uh, road, it, it they're, they're all kind of just your basic bog standard racing things. They're, they're not really anything special, um, while fun and the tracks are cool, but the showcase events specifically, they're back and bigger, crazier, mental, and are oh, just great fun. Every single one of them I had a bunch of fun with, just like in Forza Horizon 2. They're just a bit mental. You know, you're... you're 
chasing down a helicopter which has a man on it. We've seen that in the trailers. Or you're you're just told get to this area. It it allows lots of freedom in in how you get there. And uh, I opted to take the most scenic route I could to get really nice views. And turns out I got there just on time. So you know that really tense moment of oh god I need to go 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 go. You're almost stumbling over yourself to 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 have fun um, while doing a task, you know, which isn't the most interesting, go to B, you know. That's helped definitely by the driving being fun. It's not, you know, it's just, the driving is just pure fun. It's not realistic at all. It, it's very arcade, but it has realistic elements, so you can employ techniques that you would in real life into the cars. So, for example, you know, kind of the way you'd shift weight around uh, into hairpins and that sort of stuff, you can you can kind of play it like a, a very arcade rally game. In fact, a bit like the, the WRC series, compar- comparatively to, say, Dirt Rally, you know, that they're very good at doing that. So the, the, driving, the driving always has felt right in Forza games, and Forza Horizon 3 is no, no different. You feel like you're accelerating fast. You, you've... You know, it's it's got a beautiful sense of momentum. You you feel like you're you're going fast, as I said. It's partly due to the way the car kind of shifts as you're driving it. You know, playing playing Forza, in fact, for the first time I think ever with a wheel for me. There's there's some weird stuff with the way it deals with opposite lock and recovering from recovering from drifts and that sort of stuff. Where usually you'd opposite lock to straighten the car up. Forza, and I think it's always done this because it doesn't work well with controller otherwise. You you don't opposite lock, you just recenter it and then the car will do do itself where you know sometimes you've gone really out of control, you're you're too far gone and you need to pull the car back. So you need to use some opposite lock, but Forza will then snap the car all the way because it's doing its own own weird physics thing, which is fine, you know, um you you just need to get used to it. But I've come to realise there's something weird about that. It's like, you know, even though driving along a beach feels amazing, you know, you've got the sunset, the, the water, you know, you're driving along sand, so it's kind of, it, it's, it feels different, again, to, to driving on, on gravel. Driving through the city, it's pretty awe-inspiring. You know, these these tall buildings and, you know, well, kind of tall buildings. You know, dri- driving just driving around them feels feels awesome. The, the kind of 90 degree corners and, and being a bit more accurate and having to dodge through traffic while you're doing it, it's, it's all it's all great. And, you know, the outback is just crazy. And when you're going at 100, 200 miles an hour off-road and suddenly you see a tree, it's very, very tense to try and control the car out of the way. And, you know, you have more time to recover the car and you can be a bit more, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit crazier, you know, with everything. But I never actually got hooked by Forza Horizon 3. On every level, it's a game I really enjoy, and from a technical standpoint through to a gameplay standpoint, it's right up there with the best racers. You know, it it's it it runs amazingly. Um, so I'm playing it on PC. Obviously, I can also play it on Xbox because I bought it digitally. So I have tried it on Xbox, and it still runs at solid 60 frames a second. So it looks beautiful in motion, in screenshots. You know, graphically, it's it's absolutely breathtaking. So I know it's a good game, and and technically, you know, graphically, gameplay wise, it is a good game. But I feel I feel like maybe my love of the Forza series has sort of waned as I'm thinking about it and you know, driving around. I think it's it might just be because my tastes in driving games has evolved, for lack of better words. I've moved on from the arcadey. I I, I absolutely loved Forza Forza Horizon One and Two. You know, they're incredible games in their own right. All the Forza games, I loved every single one of them. Forza Six less so, and I think it's because at the time I was kind of getting into Project Cars and 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 that sort of stuff, and I've kind of moved on to the more kind of the more simulation racers. So it's it's, it's games like aforementioned, you know, Dirt Rally. They they have just as good feel as Forza, and that's why this is why I love Dirt Rally because it it feels like you're driving a car. Forza does too, um, to, to some extent, but because of its emphasis on the simulation of of the driving, um, you have to work for that great feeling. Even even games like Project Cars, Seto Corsa, R Factor, I Racing would be included. They're all just much more exciting because you have to work to get that great feeling. Where I feel that Horizon Three 
gives it to you and then that's it it's like here's a great feeling okay but i'm not working for this so i kind of fell off it even though i know it's a great game it's it's like with the souls series i know that they are amazing games but they don't keep me hooked with the soul series it's it's different because it's not that i'm bad at them but i i, I want to enjoy my games I don't want to be tortured. They're not easy games, the Souls games. And, you know, while I'm not terrible at it, the world's just too depressing for me to want to fight on. Which, okay, you know, going off topic from racing games, but it's kind of a flip side with Forza with that. You know, it does everything it should. It's it's an amazing game. But it just didn't grip me. And it, I don't think it's the game, the racing game, that I want anymore. Which is, it, it, it's just kind of surprised me as I was playing it, because I went into it thinking, yeah, Forza, you know, oh, Forza, I love this, Forza's great, blah, 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 whatever. But I had the same reaction at EGX with Gran Turismo Sport, where it just felt like you weren't really driving a car anymore. Just a weird experience going going from loving loving these games to thinking they're all right. So Horizon 3... I'm not going to give it a low score. If you look below, you know, it doesn't have a low score. While I'm not going to say what score that is now, because I need to think about it a little bit. It's just, it didn't grip me. And I think that's a me problem, not a game problem. It has a massive amount of content, a beautiful world, but it didn't make me want to keep playing like Project Cars or Dirt Rally. And I, I think it's just, you know, I mentioned it before, but for one simple reason, it didn't make me work for that amazing feeling. So, there are my thoughts on Forza Horizon 3. Thanks for listening and watching, guys. Bye.